See how pretty I look now? Uh -huh. I always look pretty like this. Yeah. I will be 55 on the same day as Tupac's birthday, June 16th. I'm originally from California. Now let me tell you my story. 13 years ago, HPD killed my daughter. I've been depressed for 10 years, been in the house 10 years, would never open up the blind. I couldn't walk. I was, I have neuropathy. I was just wet. My pillow was just wet, but just laying down, tears just rolling down. I couldn't walk. The Lord, I can walk now. It was horrifying losing my child like that. After about 10 years, come on now. I overgot I, I forgave the officer because she kept lying, talking about they was going to the movies. And my son, she was paying him to say they was going to the movies. But she was going out with boys robbing people. And she got shot by the police. And I'm not gonna lie, I was on drugs, but I was a functional drug addict. I was professional. It's a I never looked like nothing. I, I always looked good. Mm -hmm. And when I got ready to go buy my dope, I dressed up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. Hold on now, because we ain't just rolling up to buy dope looking like nothing. No, no, I'm in a Benz. Bitch. I'm in a Benz and in a Tahoe with big rims on. Big body. So Sorry, they say, they say, here she come, here, here she, she come. come. They say that bitch finna, uh, oops, you. No, you good. That bitch finna, that, they say that bitch finna spend some money. So I say whoever first, mm -hmm. that's who gonna get it. I mm -hmm. don't care. So they were the, the second person, I'll give you $10 for gas just for coming. Mm. So anyway, mm -hmm. girl, I finally been clean for about seven years. Seven, that's a powerful number. Six that, is a powerful number. No, my, seven, my, seven is the number my, of My date of birth is 6, 16, 69. No, but that's sis. no, baby. I'm an angel. I was a homeowner in Sugarland. I had a professional job. I was a clinical lab technician at MD Anderson, Gulf Coast Regional Gulf. Better stop Gulf judging Gulf. that book by its uh, cover. Uh, 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 Methodist Sugarland, working in the laboratory. I became homeless. But while I was homeless, I saved all my family heirlooms and everything that I had. I finally got myself together. I got picked up by a program. Unfortunately, they were black and they was out of third wall. The name of the place is called, used to be called Change Happens, now it's called Civic Heart at 3131 in Massachusetts Boulevard. They kept putting me in roach and rat infested apartments. Mm -hmm. So finally I called HUD, they say you can find your own place. I found a beautiful place in a gated community, individually owned condominiums. The landlord lived in California, she a Chinese woman. My refrigerator went out, so I told them. They didn't answer none of my calls. And when they came out and seen how beautiful my home was, I can show you the pictures how beautiful my house was. But I had already had all that stuff. Right, right. I was well off before I had a professional job. So right now in the name of Jesus, what's going on is the program coordinator, she just started two years ago. She's mm -hmm. a tyrant, she's a bully. She you don't put her out there like that? Yeah, I'm gonna put her out there like right. that. Her name is Candy Brown. Then she gonna turn around and tell me that my new caseworker was David Brown. Oh, but we not related. So why would she say that? Girl, Girl that man came to my house looking like Mr. Brown from Meet the Brown. <laughs> so anyway, that's her phone. Yes, she turned around. Probably. She turned around when she came and said, "She told me, oh, you have such exquisite taste, and how your dog hair so shiny." I say, "Oh, I bathe the we bathe with Pantene." So you know what? The next day, what she did? She called that landlord in California and told that landlord to evict me in 60 days and that she, I, I, I needed a smaller place because the place is big as a house. It's two bedroom, two bathroom. Wow. Anyway, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's a gated community. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody there own their place. They elderly. It ain't nothing but elderly people that, and working class young people that got expensive cars that live in there. There's only one way in and one way out. I love it. Uh, God bless me. Mm -hmm. So she tried to sabotage me by calling the landlord you telling the landlord. Oh, tried. she sabotaged me. Okay, she did. So that. anyway, what she did was, since the landlord wouldn't go for it because mm. she knew I had to have surgery, mm. she turned around and sent me a termination letter. I got it right here. I, I done did all my paperwork and everything on there. Here's, here's, all, my Brown, here's all, all, all my paperwork that I, that I, done, that I done filled out. And everything, and everything. Okay, it. okay, we that's fine. Okay, so anyway, she sent me a termination letter saying I was terminated out the program because I didn't have a letter for my emotional support dog and that uh, I damaged the property by removing the refrigerator. The landlord told me, she said, if the refrigerator don't work, I'm not going to fix it. I just put you a brand new air conditioner in there. I can't afford it. So I went and got me a 
refrigerator financed by cons that I'm paying $113 for. I also had to pay for my own pest control, Terminix. I got the receipts for that. And she said that I removed the thermostat. I had to change the thermostat because the thermostat wasn't working with the air conditioner. So she sent me a termination letter saying that that's the, the reason program. why I'm terminated from the program. And I, I done right, bless, right, I done bless right, so right. many people. You're my right, house right. my house was a revolving door. Everybody mm. that was homeless. I, I had a big two-story home, a four-bedroom house. Everybody story. that was homeless. I would let them come and stay with me. Mm. I had to stop because people just don't want to yeah, do people right. Still, people just don't want to yeah, do right. Do, I try. They, I, I don't help wrong. everybody. Mm. And everybody say, close your door, stop it. Mm. All of their children, I had a tie home. Mm. All of their kids didn't have no way to get to practice and everything after school. So I had an after school program at my house for four years. Some of them are doctors now. Come on. And God bless y'all. God bless y'all. I don't know where you're going to see it at, but my name is Keila Chantel Lee. I live in Houston, Texas. I'm, I was born in Inglewood, California. I will be 55 June 16th. I'm going to California. I got me an Airbnb, and I, rent, I already rented a convertible Mustang. I'm finna oh, do the damn thing. Love y'all. Kisses. We love you too, boo. Where you going to put it at? On YouTube. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, baby. How I'm going to find it. Let me give you my card. My parents were very intelligent. My mother worked for CBS Studios, and when we were children uh, in the 70s, we used to sit in the audience at good times and all in the family and all that. My mother was an accountant at CBS Studios in West Hollywood. Yep. And my father was an aviation engineer. He worked like for NASA, uh, Hughes, McDonnell Douglas. We grew up in Baldwin Hills, California. Oh, so wow. if you ever heard of Baldwin Hills, they had a show. Yeah. So you know we was kind of well yeah. off. Right. Uh -huh. So, but years later, though, how have you been able? Because you went through depression as well, you right? And PTSD. Your, and PTSD. Because my parents were murdered, murdered as well. Okay. I never did mention that. Okay. They were murdered individually. Uh, mm. All three of them: my mother, then my dad, then my daughter. Okay. So, how have you been able to keep your mental well? Well, in the beginning, I did. I destructed myself, mm -hmm. and then I start. I, I, I continue to pray and ask God to deliver me from uh, all of the trauma that I had been through. Right. I also have had uh, treatment and uh, medication as well. Uh, some of the medication really doesn't work, okay. but um, I do take some that does, uh, that allows me to sleep. And when I sleep, I'm at peace. Come on, peace, because peace is what you need. Yeah, when I sleep, I'm at peace. Okay, some so, people say peace is that, is that, is that glizzy, that glock. Not, that, that, what, 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 what's that? Bang, 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 shoot him up. Okay, well now I ain't I ain't into that.